Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for being here. Boy, oh boy, when magicians get excited, it's usually about making things float. <laughs> Something about magic tricks where we make stuff rise, right? Or float from hand to hand or float across the room or float around our body. People love that stuff. Magicians love it, spectators love it. And then when we see that there's a product out and it makes stuff float, magicians start talking. We start talking because it's kind of like one of the ultimate things, right? To make something levitate. Whether it's a card or a human body, <laughs> Magicians like to make things float. Today, we're gonna to look at Real Sharp from Uday. This comes to us from our good friends down at Murphy's Magic Supplies. This is 30 bucks. What is it? Well, it's a thread reel. It's an ITR, okay? It's an invisible thread reel disguised as your ordinary everyday Sharpie marker. So it's a pen, right? It's, a pen. it's not a real pen. It's not a working pen. You can't use this as a pen. If somebody says, hey, can I borrow that pen? You have to say like, no, it's not a real pen. It's a magic pen. <laughs> you can't, it doesn't work as a real pen. Um, but it's a way for you to keep an ITR on your body without it looking like an ITR, right? It's a way for you to carry it in a nondescript way. And really, uh, magicians, we carry Sharpie markers all the time, right? That's a normal thing for a magician to carry around. So you having a Sharpie marker won't look weird, but this Sharpie marker is a utility. I keep calling it a Sharpie marker. It's not a Sharpie marker. <laughs> Doesn't write, does not write, okay? It allows you to carry your ITR in, uh, out in the open, and you don't have to worry about pinning it to anything, right? Because Sharpie cap has a nice little clip, and the way they wear this is clipped here, right, to the neckline of your shirt. So you're putting the, the Sharpie on the inside of your shirt and then able to do that. So I wanna talk about the device right? Want to talk about quality of it, right? And then talk about the video that comes with it as well, because you drop 30 bucks, right? And it comes in a little box. Inside that is the gimmick Sharpie marker. It's loaded, ready to go with the uh, magician's wax on the tip, ready to go. And then you get access to a video. The video is roughly 16 minutes long. Is it what I thought? Well, of course. It's a Sharpie marker and it's an ITR put together, right? And I've had Spider Pen, Spider Pen, Spider Pen Pro, reviewed both of those. I would say this is the inexpensive baby brother of Spider Pen, right? Spider Pen is like 120 bucks. So, yeah. Um, is it well made? It's okay. It's okay. It's decent. And see, here's the thing. ITRs come in all shapes and sizes and all types of quality. And usually the way it works with ITRs is the cheaper it costs, the cheaper it is. There are some affordable ITRs out there, that is true. But what happens is, if there is an affordable ITR and it's good, magicians find out about it and they buy it. And then when you type in like invisible thread reel to your favorite magic store, uh, what you're going to see scrolling through is sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. They sell out. They sell out. So the, the options that are out there for ITRs is very limited. So a lot of the big expensive ones, like Spider Pen, still out there. Still out there, but they're 120 bucks. So you kind of have a, a small window to buy a good one when it comes out. And then if you've waited, then you have a small amount of options when you go to purchase one. So Real Sharp is still out there because I would say it's moderate. So let's talk about the video. Let's talk about what you get. It's 16 minutes, so it's not long. And it's not, uh, there's, it's not in English. There's no, and what I mean by that is just there's no audio instruction. It's, there's a looping kind of annoying music playing in the background. It's all table shot. And then uh, you just get text on screen. And it's only 16 minutes, and they're teaching you a lot in 16 minutes. So when they're cramming that much into a small amount of time, not a big fan, right? And so they're going to talk about what it is real quick, how it works, but I'm sure you already know, right? It's an ITR. And they, the first thing they talk about is replacing the thread, 
and you can get replacement spools for about $10, so that's not bad. And then they'll talk about how to adjust the tension on it. And some people have said that after they've adjusted the tension on it, it's become a better reel. They've enjoyed it better. Uh, they're gonna teach you a couple tricks. The first one is a dancing pen. That's where you make the ITR dance on the table. And, you know, just, yeah, it just bounces back and forth. You're gonna do a rising card from glass trick. They'll talk to you about how to balance uh, two cards against each other on the back of your hand. And then they'll give you two different versions of a floating bill. Pocket space, it's only the size of a Sharpie marker, right? You carry it clipped and you always have it ready to go. Inspectable, no, of course. If you, meet, if you did the dancing pen trick and they said, well, can I see that pen? You have to say, no, you can't see it. Whereas if you did a dancing pen trick with a real pen, and an ITR, a separate ITR, then of course the ITR would retract and you could hand the pen out. But uh, there shouldn't be any other instances where they ask to inspect it. Like if they're gonna do, if you're gonna do a rising card or a floating bill, no one's gonna say, well, can I inspect your pen? The, the pen shouldn't even be a thought, right? If they wanna inspect your pen after that, then you did something wrong, right? That, that's way wrong. Uh, slice and difficulty level, it's standard ITR stuff, right? It's, yeah. Uh, set up and reset. Like I said, you clip it to your shirt. For the most part, the thread's coming off the top. Um, reset. Changing the thread out is also not easy. And you know what? It never is. <laughs> it never is. So I think it's, it's more rare when an ITR comes out and you're like, oh my gosh, changing the thread out is so much fun. <laughs> so... Is, is it gonna be difficult to change the thread out on these? Yes. Um, positives, what are the positives? Real Sharp is an affordable thread reel and it's great for those just getting into invisible thread. Negatives, I already said the video was too short, right? Uh, it looks odd when it's in rest, right? So if you just have the Sharpie marker clipped in your pocket, it's gonna look like you have a Sharpie marker in your pocket with a little piece of gum attached to the top of it. So just, that just looks a little bizarre, right? But that's okay. Like I said, it's not a real Sharpie marker. And uh, some people have said they didn't like the thickness of the thread. They thought it was too black. But I didn't feel that, but I, I can see where they might have said that. So I think this thread works better in a more low light situation. Bright light, no, I think you can see it really easily. So it is, a it is a little dark. But is it worth your money? Like I said, it's 30 bucks, $30. And if you're the kind of person that you're like, man, I really wanna get spider pen, but you're like, oh, I don't know, it's $120. Maybe going in with an investment for 30 and just seeing if this is the kind of thing that works for you might be an idea. The other thing is spider pen is like that really, you know, elegant pen that doesn't work for a jeans and t-shirt kind of guy all the time. And a Sharpie marker might. So maybe this might be the thing that works for you. Like I said, ITRs are something that's super duper personal. So you'll see reviews out there for people that are like, oh yeah, I made this work and it's great. And you'll see other people out there review it and they say, oh, I hate it. But that's just the way it is with ITRs. It, it's, it's rare when one comes out that everybody loves, but usually when that happens, it's the more expensive ones. So um, I did a full review about getting started with ITR. I did a whole video about that. So if you're new to IT, go out and check that out and hopefully that works for you. And if this video helped you, give it a like, give me a subscribe and click that bell, click that follow button. That helps me out a lot and encourages me to keep going day after day. Big, huge thanks to Murphy's Magic Supplies for allowing me to have this so I could do the review for you. I'll see you guys next time, bye. Hey, do you want some more information about the t-shirt I was wearing in today's video? Sure. From my homepage, if you look up at the top, you'll see one of the tabs says store. If you click that, that'll take you to my Teespring merchandise. There, you'll see that I have a variety of different designs. Uh, there's more than one, so it's not just the shirt I was wearing today. And they're also at a large variety of price points, so there's something for everybody. 
Plus, if you click on a design that you like or that you're interested in, you'll also notice that you can select that shirt in different colors. So you're not locked into the color uh, that you see in the graphic. And that means, of course, you can buy the same design in several colors. Now, I don't ask that you buy a shirt. You don't have to. That is not uh, how I ask that you support me. But if you do buy a shirt, I want to thank you so much for supporting my channel, for believing in me. You guys are awesome. Uh, my fans are great. And I love it when you guys send pictures or you tag me on Instagram and you say, I bought a Magic Orthodoxy shirt. Uh, you, you have no idea how, how great that makes me feel and just uh, what, what a lift that is in my day. You guys are awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye.